Griffin, and this is a, uh, this is not a response exactly to a video, it's just a couple of things that have been going around in my head, and I figure it'd be probably better for me if I just get them out. Where do pseudo-intellectuals on the internet come from? What, what, what spawns these narcissistic uh, wastes of uh, characters and uh, bandwidth? And I'm going to tell you right now, when I was 17, in about my last or my second last year of my higher, uh, my, sorry, so higher, my secondary education, um, I was at a private, reasonably elite, um, you know, pretty, pretty well thought of secondary, secondary um, school, uh, Catholic uh, private school, and I was... And I, I, I talked to one of the, my fellow students, which did happen from time to time, believe it or not, and uh, he completely misunderstood a book we were reading in English, and I just and I just got a bit irate about it, and I said, mate, haven't you read the book? And he said, no, and you couldn't knock me over with a feather. However, um, I said, well, how do you get through it? And he said, the study guide, mate, how else do you think I do it? And I said, I read the book and I um, understood it well. He said, yeah, mate, you can take the time to do that. I can't be bothered. And he didn't fail English, so he must have been on to something. And then you get to university, and what happens to these people, they used to be that when going to university or getting a diploma or a degree or something wasn't so highly sought after in society, most of these people wouldn't bother. And quite frankly, I think we're all better off for it. However, that's a whole different thing. Basically, these people uh, get in there and they... They regurgitate the opinions of their lecturer, or their or their professor, or whatever job title they've got. The person who basically tells them the subject. And when the opinions are matched onto a good-looking bibliography, which they know covered the right studies, even if they didn't read past the abstract little blurb that says, "This study covered these elements under these conditions," it doesn't say anything about the uh, results. That's usually down the bottom, and most people can't be bothered reading that far. And they're counting, when they debate you online, that you don't either. Just skip to the end results, and trust me, you can crush these people with a minimum of effort. I know I've done it. So, these people are narcissistic, uh, what's the opposite of a workaholic? Um, pikers. And... Basically, they don't care about the subject. They never did. They care about being seen as being right. Or they care about shutting down people that disagree with them. Now, is there a solution for it? You're going to find it in my next video.